flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mr. Both, Mrs. Boyle, Mr. Caramella, Mr. Giannakis, Mrs. Miller, Mr. Panisi, Mr. Susselberg, Mr. Cassio, Mr. Chapman. Here. In accordance with the terms of the Sunshine Law, adequate notice this meeting was given was posted in all school buildings, the administration building, borough clerk's office, police headquarters, public library, four newspapers, and tap into on January 7, 2021. Please be advised there's no smoking on school grounds inside or out at any time. Please silence all electronic devices. And pursuant to district policy 0167, each statement made by a participant shall be limited to three minutes duration, and no participant shall speak more than once on the same topic. Uh, at this time, the board is going to go into executive session to discuss personnel and student matters and attorney client privilege. And uh, we will return in 15 or 20 minutes, and action will be taken. Can I get a motion? Back to order. Can I get a roll call, please? Mr. Boyle? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Here. Mr. Cassio? Here. Mr. Chapman? Here. Uh, moving along, Superintendent's report, Dr. Alicia? Thank you, Mr. Chapman. This evening we have a presentation by Mr. Pete Capisano from USA Architects. Mr. Capisano will be presenting the long range facility plan update to the board and the public. If you would just approach the podium. Thank you. Thank you.
Senator? No? Pete, hey, thanks so much for doing the report and for uh, taking the time yesterday as well to join our Buildings and Grounds uh, Committee meeting. And uh, kudos to Mr. Wiggins and uh, the, uh, his team and everybody. The report on, on our facilities is outstanding. I, I asked the question uh, in our meeting, you know, when you see other districts who have buildings and facilities in the same age uh, time frame as ours, how do we stack up? And he said that we're head and shoulders above almost everybody else. So that's a testament to you, Tom. So thanks so much. So thanks, Steve. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Dr. Alicia. You know, as you mentioned, uh, Mr. Capizano was in our, our uh, meeting, and I also noted on here that I wanted to thank uh, Mr. Wiggins and his crew for all of the work they do and maintaining our buildings the way that they, they are maintained. Mr. Wiggins and his crew are here at all hours of the day and night. Uh, anything that goes wrong, he's always here, and anything that is about to go wrong, he catches it before it does. I'd also like to thank the board for uh, always supporting the projects that uh, we put forth and uh, and letting us uh, make the, the assessment for what needs to be done here in the district. Uh, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank the public for um, passing the referendum and always supporting our school district so that we are able to take care of our facilities as well as all the other things that uh, make the South Plainfield School District going. So thank you very much for that. All right, my report is a little long this evening. Um, the board asked me to make it extra long. So I'm going to uh, go through these things and uh, don't worry because whatever you miss, I will be holding a meeting and it will be posted on our website tomorrow. Uh, effective immediately, the South Plainfield School District will follow the amended recommendations for quarantine for the New Jersey Department of Health and the Middlesex County Health Department. The changes will be as follows. If you test positive for COVID-19, you will be excluded from school for a period of 10 days. You will return to school on the 11th day if, you're sim if you are symptom free. Uh, you must have a note from your physician clearing you to return and you will be assessed by the nurse when you return to the school building. If you are in close contact, meaning you are within six feet of a positive case for 15 minutes or longer, you have two options. Option number one, on the fifth day from the time you are exposed, you may receive a COVID test. If the test is negative and you remain symptoms free until the end of the seventh day, you may return to school on the eighth day. Faculty and staff may be required by the administration to be tested on the fifth day so that they may be able to return to school quicker. This test will be paid for by the district. Students, however, may choose this option, but the cost is incurred by their parent or guardian. Students or uh, faculty and staff at the district's discretion for staff only may wait a period of 10 days, and if they are symptoms free, symptom free at the end of the 10th day, they may return to the district on the 11th day. However, they must be seen by the school nurse. An important change also includes that teachers will be required to keep a seating chart to know the exact location of a student, and barring the odd occasion when the student may be closer, the teacher will have the ability to identify whether or not a student has been in close contact six, within six feet or less for more than 15 minutes when a positive case is identified. We will be implementing this practice as to cut down on the unnecessary quarantine of faculty, staff, and students. Parents and guardians will be notified of the positive case and that they were uh, not within the six feet for a period of 15 minutes or longer. The parents and guardians may decide if they would like to keep their child home and switch to uh, instruction virtually. We believe that there are times when the uh, student or faculty member have been unnecessarily quarantining and this has had an adverse effect on our students, faculty, and staff. Uh, also, we are making some changes to the offerings of extra help at the secondary level. The district is working to provide students the opportunity to return back for in-person extra help at the secondary level beginning Monday, March 22nd, 2021. Secondary students will uh, complete the required academic day and will be dismissed from Grant Elementary at 1212 and South Plainfield Middle School at South Plainfield High School at 1235. Students will exit the building for their, their lunch period as well as the teacher's lunch period. The mandatory academic portion of the day is officially over at student dismissal uh, prior to the start of lunch. 
Transportation will only be provided upon the official dismissal time noted above. Teachers and staff will return to their classrooms after taking their lunch uh, to provide students with the opportunity to participate in extra help in person. Teachers will develop a schedule based on the student needs and the student request while maintaining social distancing within the classroom. Students will be notified of the extra help sessions at least 24 hours in advance. We will still offer extra help virtually for any student who wishes to leave and participate online after the end of the school day. I've been reaching out to students and parents along with their teachers, guidance, and administration over the past few days to make additional notifications of their progress and the opportunities that are available for extra support and help after the end of the school day. Dismissal time. Until March 22, 2021, for secondary students, online support is still available through Google Meet and Zoom, and the students should be taking advantage of this time to get the extra help that they so need in their areas. I will be holding a secondary parent meeting on Tuesday, March 16, 2021 at 7 p.m. to go over many of the questions and concerns the parents may have for the secondary level, including the changes for extra help and any questions regarding upcoming activities. We already have 150 people already signed in, so if you received the email yesterday, hop on here so that we can make sure you don't miss anything. I will also be on with Mr. McCann at 6 p.m. that same night to go over the winter season three. So if you have a student athlete, please make sure that you sign up for that as well. We already have 100 people signed up for that, so please make sure you jump on there as well. I have a, a very long list of activities, and I'm only going to read a few of them that seem to be the ones I get the most questions about. These will also be listed on each of the, um, each of the, the school websites, as well as uh, additional emails that will be going out to parents. I'm only concentrating on the secondary level. At, uh, at this time, we will go over some elementary ones during next week's meeting. Grant School. For the month of March, um, all month, the guidance department is providing virtual activities during homerooms on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. On March 31st, in honor of Women's History, guest, uh, guest speaker will be uh, in the building to uh, speak with students on virtual assemblies. March 8th through the 12th, sixth grade teachers provide virtual and in-person activities in celebrating the Read Across America uh, event, the scavenger runs, uh, book recommendations, there's just a number of things to go over. March 8th through the 19th, PTO virtual book fair is going on. March 18th, student council sponsored virtual uh, Kahoot game. So if you're interested, please get on. March 24th, uh, South Mayfield um, High School Heroes and Cool Kids will visit the sixth grade to virtually provide a lesson to the students. On March 25th, Student Council will be sponsoring a virtual uh, booklet activity. In April, we'll be doing Tiger Talk. In May, they're talking about the grant presentation of Annie Jr. This presentation is going to be taped, and we are going to show this on the big screen so that anybody who would like to uh, watch the, the show will be able to watch it on the big screen in one of our facilities, most likely Joe's Field. Uh, we have a uh, plan for the fifth grade picnic at the community pool. We're also this year having a sixth grade uh, picnic at the community pool and I would like to thank the South Plainfield Borough for offering to do that for us and they are um, in our partnership and they're offering their doors to us and the pool so we appreciate that. The middle school also has a number of activities that they're planning, just so that you're aware. This is all dependent on the restrictions placed for COVID-19. This year, we are uh, having a seventh grade pool party, but we're also having an eighth grade pool party since those uh, students missed their seventh grade pool party last year. We are calling uh, what we're now referring to as a social. Instead of a dance, the middle school is planning a uh, eighth grade social. It's either going to occur in the gym or in the courtroom, uh, courtyards or to make sure to, in order to make sure that we are um, managing our social distancing and we are going to be working with the PTO and the student council to make that happen. We are, we are also working on uh, sending out signs to our 8th grade students and they're working on an in-person promotional ceremony. They'll also be doing the virtual promotion like they did last year but we're trying to get an, uh, an in-person as well and they're working on an ice cream event. The um, National Junior Honor Society is going to be having an in-person ceremony. The date will be determined shortly, but we're looking forward to that. And there's also going to be a play called Distance Learning. This is a play that they actually purchased uh, the rights to, and it is all supposed to be done virtually, but we will also be showing that on the big screen. And we're planning on a movie night for the 7th and 8th grade through the 7th and 8th grade student council 
so that um, we can invite our students and uh, adhere to social distancing on the softball field. South Plainfield High School. South Plainfield High School has a number of wonderful events planned, uh, mostly concentrating on our seniors, but there are some other things going on as well. The 15th and 16th of this month, we're having senior carnation drive through pickup. So they'll be driving through and picking up uh, a carnation and maybe another couple of uh, gifts that we have for them. The 17th is uh, Senior Spirit Day. On the 24th, we'll be having the induction into the French Honor Society, and that is at 5.30. For, it says live virtual. The 25th is the Triangle Musical Honor Society induction, and that's at 6 p.m., but that is a video stream. The National Honor Society is having their induction ceremony technically on March 30th. That is supposed to be in person. April 1st is going to be the Senior Sunrise at 7.15 in the morning on the band practice field. Uh, the 12th of April is the Senior Car Decorating. That will take place right out here in the student parking lot. The 22nd is the induction into the Spanish Honor Society. That will be virtual. The time will be uh, determined. On May 1st, we're also having the South Plainfield High School Seniors Trivia Night. We're having our senior class uh, picture that will be taking place over on Joe's Field on, uh, on a day to be determined. We're also planning a movie night. We're planning a spring play, Guys and Dolls. We're planning on streaming it, but we're thinking about other ways we could possibly have that happen. And the one that I get the most questions about, What's happening with the prom? We are having what we're calling the Senior Gala Prom. It looks like it's going to be planned for right here in our district so that we have more control over what's going to happen, but there will be a Senior Gala Prom. Uh, we'll also have a Senior Scavenger Hunt. We're planning on having the Power Cup game. We can work that into the schedule. Thank you again to the, the town for offering to uh, host a senior pool party, as well as our mark, who has offered to, uh, to do the barbecue for the students as a gift to the, to the uh, seniors. And then we go on to graduation, so you'll be getting more information, but I just want to let you know we are planning an awful lot of things over the next uh, couple of months so that our students don't miss out on what they uh, missed out on last year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Leeshack. That's one heck of an agenda of events that's coming up, and uh, I'm sure that, uh, I know the board appreciates it, and I'm sure that the students and the families and the residents of the town are, are appreciating that. Uh, moving along, do we have agen any agenda additions or deletions? Seeing none, do we have any public comments on agenda items only? Do we have anybody virtually? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Chapman. Um, we're just being told that uh, that home, after watching from home, you can't hear us at all. Is there something that we can? Is it? Let me ask this question. Is it better? Is it possible to hear like this, Mr. Kamisi? Did that person? Well, it may have to do with uh, masks as well. Also. Right. So, all right, well, we'll do the best that we can. Um, so, moving along uh, to item number seven. Can I get a motion? Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, on agenda items. Please come. Good evening. My name is Liz. Um, do I have to state my address here? Yes, please okay. Liz Willis, 436 Jones Street. Um, I'm here this evening, some of which was just covered by Dr. Tanzi, so I appreciate it. So if I'm jumping all over the place now, I apologize. Um, I'm here to discuss some of the senior activities. Um, I have concerns that not much has been done leading up to this date. Um, I feel that things could have been done virtually to acknowledge these students. However, I'm grateful um, that there are things moving forward and, and I understand that there are challenges everyone is facing due to COVID and restrictions at the CDC and the state level. Um, however, I'm here more importantly from a parent initiative. I um, started a Facebook group called Adopt a Senior Class of 2021. As of today, there's approximately 95 seniors that have been adopted um, and approximately 375 community members that have joined the group. Um, and I'm here to ask you all if you are able to, because I know it's social media. I have concerns. I cannot reach every senior's parent or guardian. It's impossible. Not all of them have social media to see the circulation occurring. 
I'm asking if an email can be sent to the parents or guardians um, as a sponsorship or whatever it is that, whatever the correct terminology is, to bring awareness to these parents so that all, student, all seniors have the same opportunity to be a part of this group on Facebook. Um, do you want me to stop or do you want me to keep okay. going? I have a few topics to ask about, so if you want me to stop so, at each uh, one of them. I can just address that for you. Sure. Uh, the board, we've, it's been brought to our attention and we uh, were aware of it, and uh, Dr. Lishak will reach out to you tomorrow to uh, Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> so I'll move on to the next topic. So at the last board event meeting, I think it was, I had heard that the athletic awards dinners were going to be um, canceled. Understood due to pandemic concerns and, and health concerns. However, I'm wondering if the idea has been discussed to host these athletic awards does not have to be a dinner a simple acknowledgement for these athletes in an outside environment um, in front of their teammates and their parents. And this is not just for seniors, this is for all athletes that are involved in any sport throughout school. Um, has the idea been discussed? Is there any reason why we can't? And obviously, maybe not now, because the capacity is at a certain number, but maybe down the road towards the end of the school year. I actually had met with uh, Mr. McCann today. We were talking about what that would look like because, the team, because there is not going to be an awards dinner for the athletes. So we talked about how we could do that. I don't know if you had the opportunity to see um, what was done for our, our um, spring athletes last year, what we did over at Joe's Field with announcing their names and having you know, somebody read them out loud. We're thinking about something like that. Again, we don't know what the restrictions are going to be. So it would be the students actually they're walking through or their pictures and just some type of announcement. But yes, we have been talking about that. Okay, great. Thank you. And sorry. <clears throat> There's also, I know you mentioned graduation down the road. Obviously, it's things that have to be discussed as a parent. Understanding, again, the capacity limitations need to be lifted. As of today, are you still looking at the same graduation date that is on the school calendar should that capacity be lifted and we no longer have such a low limitation on how many are going to attend? There, there's no talk about changing the graduation as we did last year. We had graduation on the on the actual day. We just had to have two ceremonies. If that's the case, we'll continue that way. But if the if it's listed, we would have graduation in one ceremony, but the date would remain the same. Okay, thank you. And project graduation has that been a discussion? Is it even something that's on the table at this point? Um, go ahead. <laughs> We, the school actually does the sponsor Project Graduation. Project Graduation is run by the PTO. Given the circumstances and the fact that they could not um, run, which would be their most uh, profitable gift auction last year, they didn't get to do it this year, um, we, there's been no talk about Project Graduation at all. Okay. Is, I apologize for even asking this, but is there a high school PTO? Yes. Oh, I've never received an email. So, who are the members and how can I contact them? Uh, I would have to get you their, their address and uh, you know exactly who is, are, are the officers. It is listed on our website. It's it is, on, okay. On the website. Okay. But I, I want to speak with you tomorrow. I'll make sure I have that for you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming up and uh, discussing those issues. Okay. Um, any other comments on agenda items only? All right, so I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, this is another issue. Bro, this is a report. Please take a very good Yes. 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 Email went out 
out yesterday, it's for a secondary meeting, it's not tomorrow, it's for the 16th. So if you have a student athlete, we'll have a meeting, Mr. McCann and myself, at 6 o'clock, so there's one email for that. You can send in any question you want, or the secondary uh, parent meeting will be on the 16th at 7 o'clock. That email went out as well, and you, there's a, a way that you can send questions in as well. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. 
Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, moving along to policy, can I get a motion? Any discussion? Can I get a roll call, please? Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Moving on to personnel, can I get a motion? Any discussion? Mrs. Boyle? Yes. On um, 10, I am voting no on the resignation of Jacqueline Santone. She has brought positive class culture, animation, and she planned on bringing gaming for the upcoming school year. I know because the students are so excited to have her as a teacher in graphic arts. She also has a various technology that she has brought into graphic arts and how well she's worked with her students. By their testament during our board meeting last year with the animation presentation. So I'm voting no. Any other discussion? Mrs. Miller. Um, yeah, I just would like to echo Mrs. Boyle's sentiments on Jackie Santone. Um, I'm really sorry to see her resign. She has been really a great graphic arts and tech teacher. Um, she's taught and done things with our kids that we could never even imagine that would be done um, at the high school. Um, she's done new and innovative projects with these kids. She did some demonstrations for the board last year, and we were just amazed at, at what she's been teaching these kids. So um, I wish her good luck in the future, but I am really very sorry to see her resign. Any other discussion? And a roll call, please. Mrs. Boyle? Um, yes, I'm with but one. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Cassio? He said yes. Oh, okay. Mr. Chapman? Yes. He was thinking about it. All right, moving along to finance. Can I get a motion? So moved. Any discussion? A roll call, please. Mrs. Boyle? Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Cassio? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Any public comments on any items? I'm sorry, Mr. Estrada. I'm sorry, Mr. Estrada? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Okay. Uh, moving along to uh, board member comments. Mrs. Boyle? Yes, thank you. Um, I want to send condolences, thoughts, and prayers to Patty DeSantis, who is a retired employee from our district, and her entire family on the passing of Nick from COVID. Um, congratulations to Dylan Jeffries, our high school student who has been chosen to attend a leadership conference this summer at Fordham University. Um, I want to thank Mr. Brendan, um, Mrs. Hollander, and Ms. Eckert on your virtual presentation supporting executive functioning in school and virtual classes. That information is a wonderful tool for all students. As Mrs. Aramba noted, it benefits every student in our district. Um, and I also, also, the BSI teachers and the IEP um, documentation, um, that continues to be followed even though um, the, the staff is um, used in other areas, that the BSI and the IEPs are still followed, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, thank you to the fourth grade student who did Read Across America virtually to the Riley Pre-K class. She did a great job. Um, thank you to Mrs. Rosado for um, having us send in our virtual reads. Also, um, there were five main topics discussed at legislation on March 6th. My question to Senator Vinnie Bopel, which I also sent to Senator Dodman, was in reference to the bill regarding cannabis and alcohol and the non-notification to parents. I was assured that this bill will be amended. Also, as I said, Chapter 44 restrictions are in resolutions that does not apply to the teachers and staff. It's a request to the state. Um, the pension will be fully funded 
Um, this has not happened since 1996. Um, additional proposed funding for extraordinary special aid, pre-K and K through 12 is being presented. Um, this, the governor's budget is not finalized, but I believe that New Jersey school board, state and federal have um, been in discussion with the governor with regards to all the various fundings. Um, there will be an appointment for a statewide HIP coordinator, um, and this benefits the parents, the school staff, um, and the, the students. So when there's a question, um, they can reach out to the uh, HIP coordinator. And also, there's a high school baseball fundraiser at Mr. Subs tomorrow, March 11th, from 4 to 8. That, that can be curbside pickup, Grubhub, um, Uber, uh, where you can go in and you can order and go in and pick it up. This benefits the South Linfield High School baseball team. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Boyle. Um, regarding the, um, just a quick question for you regarding that um, Mr. Subs fundraiser. Yeah. I saw a flyer that said a portion of the proceeds are going to the baseball club. Where is the remainder going? Where? I'm sorry, where, where is what? The remainder of the proceeds going? No, the, the, between four and eight. No, any, no, the total not, tally. No, the, the flyer it said the, a portion of the proceeds. Yes, 15%. Of their town. Oh, so all the proceeds are going yes. to the baseball club. They, you're getting 15% right. of the or something, and 100% of that's going to the baseball club. 15% of their tally between four and eight goes to the baseball club. Excellent. That's that portion. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mrs. Miller? Yeah, I would also like to give heartfelt condolences and prayers to the DeSantis family. Um, I'm also thrilled to see that the teachers and staff of school districts can receive the vaccine finally. With teachers returning to the classroom, I feel um, if they want the vaccine, at least now they can get it. And I think it will add a whole other level of safety and, and feeling of security for them when it comes to the virus. So I'm very happy that they have now been moved up the list. Any other board member comments? Mr. Cassidy. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, thank Dr. Wieschak and the staff administration for uh, being proactive and, and fluid with this COVID uh, situation and trying to be progressive in what we're doing, get these kids back to school uh, back on February 22nd, the hybrid kids, um, and then we moved, moved forward and, and brought some of the kids back five days a week. Now we're moving forward with the, the uh, modified quarantine rules and regulations and, and hopefully we can continue to progress forward as a community. And, and keep doing what's right for these kids and the staff and teachers and keep everybody safe, but let's get back to normal hopefully soon. So thank you. I know it's hard. I know it's a lot of work. Thank you, Mr. Cassio. And uh, I would just like to um, echo what the, Mr. Cassio just said. You know, thank you, Dr. Lishak and, and everybody. I mean, this is not a, just a Dr. Lishak job. This is a, an everybody job, uh, the administrators and everybody in the district. Um, to keep us moving in a positive direction. I know it's everybody's goal to get our kids into school and, you know, as, as safely and, you know, as, uh, as much time as possible. And, and all the, uh, the effort that is being put forward is certainly being, uh, being noticed. And I want to let you guys know that we, uh, we understand and we recognize it. We want to say thank you very much. And that's to everybody, to the teachers, to the administrators, to everybody who's involved in the district in, in getting this done. I will personally tell you that my children are much happier going to school five days a week right now. That's it's it's not measurable. I couldn't even tell you they're fifty percent happier. They're a bazillion percent, you know, happier. So thank you very much. Um, that's it. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Thanks, Joe. Uh, moving on to uh, approve the agenda for next week. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Boyle? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Panisi? Yes. Mr. Castillo? Yes. Mr. Chapman? Yes. Now I'm going to get a motion to adjourn. Okay. Everybody in favor? Anybody opposed? Motion to adjourn. Uh, meeting adjourned. Okay. <laughs>